Said Nazakar. I'm from India. I, I represent Data Lease as a founder and its editor in chief. And in the last four or five years, we have seen a number of initiatives, independent initiatives, taken at individual country levels in terms of setting up independent center for investigative journalism. We have that one in Philippines, one of the oldest in the region. And then we had one in Pakistan, in India, in Nepal. And recently, in the last one year, we got one in Sri Lanka and in, uh, in other countries as well. So these are like a small candles of hope. But challenge is quite big. And that's why it's fundamentally important for us in Asia as editors and media practitioners to come together first and to have a conversation about how can we empower a next generation of storytellers, next generation of watchdoggers to come forward and tell the stories of the region, the stories which we are not hearing. It's also an interesting time because we are having the benefit of technology. The journalism was quite, quite a challenge 10, 20, 30 years back. It was quite expensive to run newsrooms. It was quite expensive to print, uh, print journalism, print stories. But now the technology is allowing you a lot of open spaces and, uh, and allowing you to do stories at a faster rate, reach audiences at a faster rate. The social media revolution has also changed the dynamics of storytelling. And we are trying to engage different stakeholders to take advantage of these technologies. Say, for example, open data in Asia. I personally work very closely in India and other parts of the region in terms of seeing how we can make sense of lot of information. The budget of any country produces thousands of data sets. But as a journalist, we need to try to figure out how to make sense of all these documents, how to make sense of all this data. At least 10 Asian countries today have Freedom of Information Act, including China, including India. Almost 4 million people in India file a Right to Information Act every year. Almost 90% of these applications are answered by the government. So this is a really important tool for the journalists to use and uh, an important tool to actually build the conversation on. So we're having serious challenges in terms of our financial sustainability, in terms of the political pressures and the legal threats and physical security as well. I come from India. We have seen how difficult it is sometimes to report on some issues. The journalists have been attacked. A couple of have been uh, you know, like threatened with the legal notices, and unfortunately, we have lost colleagues, both in I think in India, in Philippines has been one of the toughest part uh, in Asia, in Pakistan as well. But I'm, I'm I'm optimistic that we will have a good future because uh, in uh, people will always like to engage with the new information. They will always like to hear what's happening around them. <laughs>